Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today we're going to feature Tony Castillo. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. So what got me into the field of nutrition and dietetics? Growing up, I was overweight. I was always bullied, not only by people in school, but even by my family members on my body image issues. And being that I'm Hispanic, sometimes I was told that I was eating too much or eating too little. And I always had a, a, an image with my body. I wouldn't go to the beach with my friends and I'd be the first one in or the first one out so I could hide under a towel because I was scared of people seeing what my body looked like because of how I was bullied in high school and how my family viewed my body. So I got into nutrition so that no one else had to suffer with that. I got into nutrition and dietetics so I could teach people how to fuel their bodies and not have a poor body image about themselves. I got into nutrition and dietetics because when I was going through it, I feel like I couldn't reach out to anyone. And we need more men in the field because I felt like it was such a lonely, not only time in schooling, but also who was I able to reach out to? Just people on the internet now, but back in the day it was just, other guys that were doing bodybuilding and I never really wanted to do bodybuilding. I just wanted a better image of my body. Currently work-wise, I am a private practice dietitian. I am working with athletes and active individuals. Coming from a sports background, and I worked at the University of Florida as a dietitian and I worked with the Toronto Blue Jays Baseball Club as a performance dietitian. So my goal now is to help athletes and active individuals feel for performance without counting calories or without using supplements that just don't work. It would be beneficial to have more men in the dietetics profession because most of the time when, when men reach out, they reach out to someone who is a fitness professional, not a true nutrition professional. So they're not getting the best guidance nor medical advice. They're reaching out to someone who's had a six pack, but they probably have disordered eating. They probably got their nutrition from someone else who's not an expert, who got it from someone else who's not an expert. So it's doing something that worked for someone, not something that has worked for them. And the thing is, as a male, I know it's tough to reach out and ask for help. But when I started my business, I reached out to someone to help me. So when it comes to nutrition, we should be reaching out to each other to help each other because it is tough for us to reach out. And when we do reach out, we need someone who's a professional and knows what they're doing, not just someone that has a six pack. My number one tip I give to most of the clients I work with is to hydrate or dehydrate. That means they should be drinking more water. And most men in particular don't drink enough. You should be drinking half your body weight in ounces. So if you're a male who weighs 200 pounds, that means you should be drinking about 100 ounces of water. And I think we go through a chronically dehydrated state, and I didn't know this myself. Now, why do I worry about this all the time and give this advice is because being dehydrated can lead to a drop in performance by seven to 10%. And whether you're an athlete or an active individual or someone who just works, a 10% decline in performance doesn't help anyone but a 10% boost in performance will help you not only at your work, your life, your love, and everything involved with it. So remember to hydrate or dehydrate.